Hey guys, and today I am back once again here with Title Tuesday. How are you doing, everybody? Let's have fun and let's go. Here with Title Tuesday. Hey, Karma, thank you so much for 73 months at tier 3. That is. That is, hold on, six years plus a month. Thank you so much, Karma, for 73 months at tier 3. Appreciate it. How are you doing? What's up? Sound was good. I posted here. I posted here. Today, probably not going to be the strongest field since Magnus, Hikaru, Fabi, Firuja, all these guys are playing in the Norwiches, but maybe some GMs. Maybe I can play Anifis here, so we'll see. Um. And Panda, 55 months at tier 3, thank you. And we have a hype train. Thank you, guys. 55 months is uh, 5 years without 5 months, so that's 4 years and 10 months at tier 3. Thank you, Panda. And we already at level 3 hype train. Let's go. Maybe a new emote is possible. Tournament starts in 3 minutes, and there is only... 470 players that's very little without Magnus and Hikaru, I'm not gonna lie maybe we can get 650 but difficult difficult ah uh, the camera is good maybe a bit downwards yeah it's good Okay, 494, yeah, I think 650 is maximum amount of points we can get, honestly. Uh, players, or did I see points? I meant players, if I did see points, but maybe I didn't see points and I said players, I'm not sure, honestly. Five thirteen. Maybe we won't even get six hundred. I mean, I think we'll get six hundred maximum, like six twenty, six thirty. But definitely, that's much less than we usually get in the past recent title Tuesdays. Hold on, this is good, I think. Um, five twenty nine. Yeah, that's very karma. Sixteen hundred and fifty six bits. Thank you so much. Did you get the new emote? What level of hype train are we? We are definitely past level 3. I think we are on level 4, maybe 50%. Karma just earned a new one, oh, 100k bids badge! Wow! <laughs> wow! Impressive, Karma. Impressive. 50% exactly of level 4 hype train. Thank you so much and congratulations on the new badge slash emote if I'm not mistaken. You got the pineapple emote, right? I'm confused what emote you got, but I think that's the pineapple one. Let's go! Congrats on the new pineapple emote. You are the first person after after me who is a channel owner to ever get it. Well done. Well, well done. We are at 577. We may even start the tournament without 600 players, actually. Funnily enough. Happens super rarely, but I think today is the day it happens. 583. Yeah, we are not getting 600 players, chat. Today is settled. Tuesday is really 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 little people 591 maybe 600 maybe re redemption in the last second 594 nah 595 okay let's go emote only we got black Maybe cause it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. King's Gambit. Knight of 3. Ah. Uh, 
I mean, I guess I'll take it and transpose into it takes D line. Because maybe D is fine, but I'm not sure. I think something like c6 bishop g4 works. I'm not sure how to blur check. Uh -huh. I think bishop g4 is okay. <coughs> Hi Pookie, what's up? three queen b6 and knight d4 here i was thinking knight e5 attacking the pawn maybe queen b6 knight d4 was a bit stronger though but it looks interesting as well because if bishop b2 maybe i can play f3 sacrificing the pawn but opening his king we'll see <coughs> Two. Since the pawn isn't hanging, I'm gonna go here with some ideas of like bishop, oops, bishop c5, knight d3, knight f2, something like that. Okay, if knight e4, it's gonna be great there. Um, Queen b6, knight d3 ideas, maybe something else. But after knight d3, honestly, I'm not sure how will he stop knight f2. But maybe he'll have something. I mean, even if I'll get an extra pawn, as we know, a pawn is a pawn, so. Yeah. Where's the camera? Camera is good. Yeah, knight e4 gives away the pawn. Uh, but doesn't really give it away. Since he has bishop h7, queen d3. Hype train has arrived. Let's see what emote I got real quick. I got some cookie mode. Touch of salt. Bimmy of Snotty, even tier 1 sub to March. Thank you so much, Bimmy of Snotty. 100. Wait, I got two emotes or what? Chad, I got two emotes in one hype train. That's actual hype. Let's go! Thank you so much, Mimi Epsoti, and welcome to the stream. But two emotes in one hype train is pretty hype. If I do say so myself. And what isn't so hype is winning a pawn, but then losing it immediately. <laughs> um, that's not the hypest thing. Maybe g6 and then simply knight c4. Oh, Bimi Asati, you also have this emote, nice. Karma, and Karma also got this touch of salt emote. Bimi Asati, but were you in time for the hype train? Or no, were you like the final second of the hype train so you got this emote or you already had it? I said for a minute about knight e4. Aha. <laughs> Not the best time, but but I had to flex my two new emotes. The good thing is if b3 I still have knight c4, uh, since the bishop is hanging. This, attacking the pawn and yeah, b3 isn't even an idea. Uh, that's very smart of me to ask Bimi Absolutely a question which she needs to answer uh, with emote only on. <laughs> very logical. It is very, very logical indeed. Okay. I suppose I'll take on d6. And yeah, it's not the most active. Maybe I have 93, 93 queen f2 though. 
I can take since my queen hangs. Unfortunately. Okay, if I play rook e4, there's some like rook d1 stuff. Queen b, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he goes here. Knight b2. Knight e3, rook e3 stuff. Yes, I'm unsure about knight b2, but I'm gonna go for this. And queen h4. Because knight b2, bishop d6, queen d3, queen b2, and if knight d3 there was something like rook d1, I was unsure. But now the bishop hangs, queen h4 is an idea, boom. h3, queen g3, g3 I will simply take. With the rook. Uh, rook f8, I think he's fine. Yeah, rook g1. I takes with this, but the rook falls. Yeah, that was a pretty good game, I think. Maybe it wasn't the best, but I think it was pretty good. So, BMF, uh, BMF, how did you get the emote? Uh, did you get the emote this high train or not? 92.6, pretty good accuracy. Okay, yeah, knight dc was stronger because bishop c5 is unstoppable. g6 in accuracy. Was it a free pawn actually? Boom, bishop h7. Ah, I go f3, and if rook f3, I have rook e1, rook f1, queen f2, I think. And then some crazy line, I'm like 0, 5. Advantage, which isn't much. Ah, but how I'm winning is with queen b4? After queen d3, I go for queen e4, I guess. Or queen h4. Yeah, okay. So knight h4, I had to give it. And f3, which is hard to find. GF, I sacked a pawn for compensation, which may not even be real, so eh. I think I'm happy with how I played g6, queen d4. Yeah, and rook e3 was winning already. It's a train! Nice! Well done. Well done, well done. Hey, BXP, hey, Hamo4. Thank you, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, let's watch Jospem. I haven't seen him recent title Tuesday, see if I'm... Not mistaken. Yeah, he really wants to lose, as far as it seems from his games. He had... Ah, no, okay, okay, he wants to draw. Since, okay, h5, you simply lose the pawn. But before, no way he did... Un I mean, okay, he could have repeated, but he doesn't like drawing. He likes playing for a win. Even in a pawn down rook and game on the same side pawns. King h3 is important, otherwise you lose, though, or rook b6 is fine as well. But king h3 has to be played at some point, I think. So this high train we got, uh, that's the same emote, right? Yeah, I think I already shared it, huh? Fall damage, yes, I did. But I'm surprised I got two emotes, one high train, but I'm not complaining. Um, so we got two gifted subs, well, two gifted subs, but surprisingly, I don't know how, Maybe, but somehow it says two gifted subs and bits, right? But, 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 Karma Panda subbed and you gifted a sub. So that should be three, eh? But it says two. Math ain't mathin. <laughs> somehow. By the way, everybody, Karma is the first person to officially get the 100k bits emote. That's the pineapple emote he's using. He's the first person, well, after me, in the world to ever get this emote. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, Jospam offered the draw. He's so terrified now. I mean, of course he will hold it, but aha, uh -huh, he isn't a fan of trying to hold this anymore. <laughs> I wanted it badly, yeah. But congrats. Well done. Well done. How many more games are left is a question, huh? I suppose not too much is there. I know that's the final game of the round, okay. 
I have six king g8, king g6, rook g7. It's clever. Doopy 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 doom, doopy doopy doom. Okay, f6, king g6, rook g7. Otherwise, otherwise it's not good, but yeah, rook g7. And the draw. Draw, draw. A camera is good. Maybe a bit closer. Yeah, that looks better, honestly. Yeah, and the rook cannot go from the g file since there will be a bazillion checks. Next goal, one million. How close are you, by the way? 860,000 or you are you in like 900,000? Nine, let me guess, 934,000. 934k channel points you have at the moment. Or no, 845. My first guess was closer. So, I mean, when I said my first guess, I meant it, you know? The second guess was unintentional. It's a bit unintentional. My opponent is from Nauru. Interesting. Two, 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 two. You haven't played many players from Nauru. Should I trade the bishops first and then d? No. Honestly, I think his bishop is better than mine. But ed is a good move, yes, because he isn't forced to take, unfortunately. So maybe we will never trade the bishops. Okay, ninety four, ninety five. <coughs> Like rook g eight ninety five queen g five or something. Oops, knight f five queen e five queen g five knight h six threads. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, rook d five ninety seven and win an exchange ninety seven also win it something. Yeah. Ninety seven then ninety five for queen e seven rook e seven and win in an exchange so ninety four is in a threat. Queen e5, queen g5 looks nice, honestly. <sighs> okay, if queen f6, I can either keep the queen, keep the queen with queen g4 or something, or trade them, ruin his pawn structure, and then see what to do, you know. <coughs> I think it's safe to pre move it takes the honestly since okay if he takes I have to take back. Yeah rookie four Is there some in between or semis perhaps or what? Or did he miss something? Because now how do you stop now? Okay, ninety seven. That was good that I calculated rookie four, huh? <laughs> So what of the 95? <coughs> and I saw 94. And it's good that I saw 94 because here I would have panicked uh, if you would have played 94. It's like, oh no, I missed that, but it was wasn't scary at all. Uh, I mm. should I play F3 King of 2? Or should I play H3 in H2? I think I'm gonna keep with F3 somewhat. Uh, <sighs> not blocking, but. English isn't good. <laughs> Just like not blocking, but like minimizing the activity of his bishop. Ha! Ah, it was difficult to say, but I did say that. Whew. Okay, rook a6. The pawn is a pawn. Okay, rook b8, rook d6. Okay, rook d6. Rook b2 maybe is even stronger. Yeah, I think that's even stronger. This and then rook b8 is unstoppable, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, rook b6, rook b8 is unstoppable. This, this, he moves the rook, rook b8. He moves the rook, rook b6, bishop. Okay, I mean, he can stop it, but then I win the bishop. Or if he goes to e8 with the bishop as well. 
Nice. It was good that I calculated rookie four. 94 rookie four. Nice, 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 chat. That was a good game. I'm happy with it. That's, I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's like 97. I don't know, but maybe. Maybe 98.4. Maybe 99. 98. That was good. That was good indeed. Okay, bishop d5 is a mistake. It is, is better. But then knight f5, it's unpleasant to play as black. He went for some tactical moves. She moves after that. Uh, I, I want to analyze. Gosh, I'm a bit confused still. How can I analyze? I don't want the game review. Ah, here you go, analysis. Yeah, okay, ed, queen d6, knight d4. This idea of knight d5, he cannot take us knight of 5 Rookie at rookie, knight, yeah, boring. Take, take, knight d4, knight f 5 How does he need to play is the question. Okay, bishop c8, king h8. But yeah, it's really passive. And if he ever takes the bishop, this pawn will be a monster. It's already plus one. And he took and lost in five moves. Nice. Did you think you pookie? Karma loves his pineapple emote. It's with Schneeman. Ah, it's so hot here. 30 degrees, I'm so thirsty. Now I think Karma Puki meant if he guesses the prediction wrong, he donates his points to you or something. Uh, but I'm not sure how that is possible, so let's not do any predictions. How, why is it 0 0 so lot of a sudden? And the outside passer is scary. But rook c2? Ooh, rook f2? Ooh! Ooh! My white to two of the pawns of white. The rook h2. Or queen d4 would be stronger, perhaps. Queen d4 and moves the rook. Okay, rook d2, sure. What's the threat of. Okay, white flag. That is true, that is true. But Karma, you slowly... How many... I think Twitch introduces uh, channel points boost if you are a sub, no? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, tier 3 you have 2x multiplier and some watch streak up to 450 points. Pretty good. You participate in a raid, follow the channel, blah blah blah. Monthly first cheer, monthly first gifted sub, some watch stick. I'm not sure how it works, I saw it, but I don't know. <laughs> ah, so you would have gotten a hundred points, but you're easy to even get to them. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Is it some, some, I don't know, not a cheat, but is it some plugin or something that auto claims the rewards? But then it's also somewhat cheating, huh? Because it, it includes technically some third party programs, huh? <laughs> I mean, technically you could leave the stream, go for a walk or something and you'd still get points, but... Mm. I took them everything. Woo. But how does this watch streak work? Uh, you watch the stream, and then in this like 10 minutes, in this 50 points, you usually get okay, four subs with multiplier, but usually in 50 points, you get this watch streak reports, or you have to claim them somehow else. Because I'm not sure how it works, and I'm not watching that much Twitch to find out. <laughs> They want you like bas basically no Twitch. <laughs> like on rare occasions, once a week maybe. At max, YouTube is my go to mostly. Yeah, Plex should be winning. King G5, King F4. 
h4 stuff for bishop e6, bishop of 5 nice bishop maneuver, g5 preventing a 4, bishop of, I don't know when, bishop of 5 just killing the bishop, but yeah, you can just trans transfer the king all the way to c3 and that's over. And king a4, uh, eh? Huh. I don't know what Rasmus is doing. I mean, I guess he wants to get his king to h4, g4, king g3 or something? I don't know. I mean, it would. Yeah, okay, king g3 had to be played. Preventing king h4, at least trying, because now king h4 is unstoppable. Oh, already next round. Okay. Let's go. Emote only. Double white. That means it's soon in the tournament I'll get double black. System. Uh -huh. I thought Kula is like Ding played knight f3, d4, e3. And what did I play? Knight f4, d4, c4, e3. So it's not a Kula system. Chesco needs to update their opening book. <laughs> it's a Kula system with c4. Huh? Big, big difference. Okay, queen c2. <coughs> Is it a message from Chesscom that I need to join Zoom? Oh, hopefully not. Sorry. Yeah, take, 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 pretty much will happen is, I think. Okay, if CD11 isolated pawn, I can play like rook d1, play against it. Rook d5, bishop c4, knight d5, bishop c4. Queen d5, bishop c4. <laughs> Seems like that. How is the camera? Camera is good. Yeah, okay, bishop c5, rook d2, queen c3, queen b3 looks fine. Rook c5, bishop f7. Uh, queen b3, queen d7, rook d1, rook d1, knight d4, rook d2, knight d2, rook d1. That looks nice, not gonna lie. Because queen c3, knight d4 is a bit pleasant, I think. Queen d7, rook this d1, not rook fd1. Ah, he goes queen e7. Yeah, that's probably smarter. Ah, uh, but I can trade and go rook d1 anyways, I think. Okay, bishop d3, queen c would be very nice, but he has rook d8 in time, unfortunately. Um, ah, what are you doing? Like rook d1, rook d8, rook d2, rook d2, rook d1, knight e4, rook d2, knight e2. 92 and 84. Looks a bit unpleasant, I'm gonna lie. <sighs> but I can move. Okay, let's go rook d1. I guess if it will be even one pair of rooks less, it should be a little bit more comfortable. With two pairs of rooks. Aiming for the second rank. Take rook d1, knight e4, f2 hangs, which is really unpleasant. I have f3, but then there is knight c3, also unfortunate. <laughs> uh, bishop d3, bishop d3, knight c5. Ay -ay -ay. Hmm. Yes, let's go here with the idea to go bishop e2, bishop f3 at least. But a bit unpleasant. 
and my time advantage disappeared. Okay, knight e4, bishop e2. Rook you want to take, take, I'm fine. Queen of six, I want to play bishop f3, knight d2. I just lose a pawn. Maybe I can take rook d2. I don't know, I just lose this. This queen of six, bishop f3, knight f2. Take on d2, take on d2, and he has knight e3 as a threat. I have rook f1. Ui, I don't know. It looks scary. Ui, ui, ui. Time. Time is slow. Queen of six b2 ranks as well. Okay, if he takes on e2, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna have the bishop. Some chances. If he doesn't take, I mean, I guess he w he can make. Oh wait, b5. I blunder that completely. Rook d2, knight d2. I just lose a piece. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> that is not great. Bishop d3, knight c5. Mm. Let's hope that he doesn't see it at least. Yeah, I should have simply taken rook d2, rook b1, going to this queen endgame, agree a draw. It's now some inconveniences. Probably gonna appear, unfortunately, but okay, maybe you won't find b5, then you will be fine. Ah, there you go. That's good. Oh, he takes. Woo! Um, okay, I mean, I think I should take. I don't know. Uh, he wants to go there. That loses a bishop. Looks like a draw. But okay, I mean, draw would not a great result, but keeping in mind that if he would have found b5, I would have lost. That's a good result. Maybe he won't go for perpetual, though. We'll see. Now he goes for it. No, he doesn't. Lost this pawn, which is important. And I won the game. <laughs> so we went from like dead loss to drone to one with like twelve moves. I mean, okay, sure. Yeah, that sometimes sometimes you have to understand, uh, which is difficult when you had the pressure to go for a draw. Whew. Lucky. 92.7. I thought it would be like 82.7 more, but it was 92.7 actually. Yeah, I guess I should have played simply rook d1. I gave the e, e, d2 square. Hi, Zalmai. Yes, then I was worse. I should have taken on d2. Yes, yes, yes. b5 I would have lost. This is, this is. I think, I think, I think. Perhaps, okay, queen b4 was actually, yeah, okay, this bishop h5 check was very important, because, okay, if queen b7, he has perpetual, with, okay, queen e5, I have g3, he has queen f4, and check, 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 he was winning, he was winning at one point, I don't know what happened, I somehow won, um, yeah, queen e3, queen, bishop h5, king d7, bye-bye to this point with check, and that's good, I'm fine, how about you? And if king d8, uh, then queen b6, ooh, not queen d, not queen e7, but queen d6, bishop g4, and g6 to take, and as happened in the game. But he was winning right here after rook e2, he had b5. And the idea is if rook e2, knight e2, and my bishop is gonna be lost. Or if I go bishop d3, he has knight e5, unfortunately. And I also lose the, the, I have to sack my queen for a rook and a knight, which isn't good. But I managed to win this. Yeah, long time to see indeed. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a lot of points on one side of the board. Uh, okay, it was A, B, C, D points. And then it was double points because of some captures. And that's why there was so many points on one side of the board. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Too many more games left. Switch some Sabian with an extra rook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But white were totally fine. And how did they lose the bishop? Oy oy Bishop G1, rook G1. That's really unfortunate to just hang a bishop in one move like that. In a fine position. Okay, this game ended. Oh, rook and bishop versus rook, that is interesting. But I'm scared it's threefold, no? Rook e2. One. Ah, oh, yeah, the rook was on f3. King of one mate, so don't go king of one. Bishop e3. Some fishy setup from black, but yeah, it should be able to hold. How many moves? So this is zero, zero. Oh, is already playing for a decade and a half? But unfortunately from white that they played e6. And they could have... But it's hard to win because the king is cut off. Yeah, draw. Okay. And that was the final round of the... Uh, final game of the round. So let's go to e mode only. And maybe some GM or... Maybe not. We'll see. It's 2471. Okay, that is concerning <laughs> to say the least. 3 out of 3 and I get a 24.71. Okay, cannot take it easy at all. You cannot take it easy any games, but this game specifically. Because the opponent should be very underrated based on his performance. But maybe, maybe he just got lucky and was losing in all the games and he just got the wins because his opponent blunders. blundered. So we'll see. In the game will show. <laughs> okay, and somebody with 2861 places 3130, so I got a bit unlucky by the rating, as it seems. If I had rating a bit lower, I would have gotten the first seed of the tournament. As it seems, at least. Probably not, but... Yeah. I know Neiman was the first seed, but he's not on the first board, at least. Stop. Yeah, rook a6, I think, is a move to play which is un 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 uncomfortable to play, you know? Unpleasant to play, maybe uncomfortable isn't the right word, but a bit unpleasant to play. But maybe have something better, I'll think for a bit and decide. I don't really want to give away the pawn. I think if I don't want to give away a pawn, rook a6 is the way to go. <laughs> Not an for queen c7 or something. And uncomfortable, unpleasant, but okay. If I don't... Maybe even knight a4, I can't give the pawn away somehow. And uh, maybe some tactics, like win d6, knight b6, knight a7, winning the knight, for example. And here, here, this. Because queen a7 is very passive. <laughs> uh, knight a7. It just traps the queen, doesn't it? Yeah, 
Looks like it at least. <laughs> Yeah, but this guy wasn't the out of three. But but yeah, it looked a bit. It felt a bit easier. But still, it's not over till it's over. So let's win, and then I can draw conclusions of the game. Uh, B five, perhaps. This knight is annoying. Ninety four. Mm hmm. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Maybe queen b8, knight c5, bishop c8. Bit scuffed. But two bishops advantage, a pawn. It's also not lost, so <laughs> should be fine. And then I want to go like queen b6, f5, queen in the knight. Uh, takes queen b6 or knight c6. Nah. I think queen b6 should be fine. Queen b6, if knight c3, I should take. Otherwise, knight c6, knight b4. Bishop c5, knight d5, uh, knight d5, knight d5, knight d5, queen e6, rook c5. Eh! Um. Yeah, you also knight d5. Mm, queen e6, queen e6, rook c5, bishop b7, knight f6, take, take, queen b6, a5, seems like this. If b c, I take, if rook c5, bishop b7, uh, then take on f6, bishop b7, uh, bishop b7, queen b6, bishop d5, check. Uh, but gf, bishop b7 looks not the best, honestly. Um, so this, queen b6, bishop d5, king h8, with the idea of a5, yeah, okay, a5, let me get rid of this pawn, so I can push my, my own pawn forward, if take, take, rook c7, rook d5, rook c8, I can take, take, and rook d8, there should be no checkmate threats, hopefully, Take, take. Uh, bishop e4, he wants to go like queen to c7. Oh, uh, queen c7, rook c7, I mean. Mm. And then rook b7, maybe double up. Okay. Okay. So queen a6, rook c8, I think. Rook c7, rook c8 to trade the rooks off. Okay, he can take this pawn, sure. Uh, b4. This, knight c6, rook e6, queen a2. Queen a2. Double attack. Yeah, he played, he played very well uh, when he was down material, but I still managed to win. Yeah, I mean, maybe it wasn't the smoothest realization technique, but I felt like he was fine since he was slow on time, so I just felt put pressure. And yeah, an 89, pretty, pretty fine. Oh, wait, what was this? It's not what happened in the game. Yeah, okay, king of one, he just wanted to queen one move. And then he started playing well. I didn't play so well. But fortunately, at the end, managed to trick him. Congrats, well done. I wish you suspicious. Thanks, Almai. 89 accuracy, pretty good. I, I ju I'm just wanna. I'm just wondering who he played against three out of three. 2800, 27, and 2700. Yeah, good performance from him. Hey. Congrats. I made up three. Zero two. Let's watch Bunny Pranav. I mean, he's worth, but he has a very, very, very advanced pass point, so he has compensation because of that. 
maybe we'll see or maybe another 2400 <laughs> you never know what chesco will give you i think buddy give away too many pawns i think he's taking this pawn a bit yeah, but what is he doing he's just losing time and now king e4 not so clear in time trouble Ooh, king d1 and rook d5 that looks nice f d7 Ooh, lose the advantage away just checks check check king g3 rook g2 king h3 yeah this is a draw now wow <laughs> White simply had to push, I think, d7, f2, king e2, and rook h1, king e2, f2, d8, f1, I mean, queen e5, it's just winning. Yeah, yeah. That's why Magnus, Hikaru, Fabi, and Firujan play in the title Tuesday. But Buddy uh, messed it up. He had, he had to play f2, I think. I'm not sure what he had to play. Oh, now he's winning! What?! Plus 28 zeros, and he won. What a crazy game. What a crazy game that was. Let me open the break time already. Hi, Frogger. Ooh. Rook. Leg blunder, the rook. And mate. The yeah, unfortunate no stalemate ideas even. Unfortunately for black. <sighs> yeah, I don't see stalemate. Keen H8. No, you have to try Keen H8. I ah, know, but that would have done nothing. Queen H7 isn't stalemate. Anyways. Okay, this game should be over in a matter of seconds. Okay, this should be over soon, but maybe it won't be. I know it will be, and it's relatively soon. Okay, draw 50 more roll. Okay, Judd, it's not break yet. Okay, it's break time. See you later, guys. Take care. Grab some snack and see you in a few minutes.
Hello everybody. I'm back. Four rounds for a plate. Yeah, I don't know about music. I like it musicless. Maybe it's more exciting to watch, but I like it musicless. Hey, just papercraft. Hey, Logan. What's up, guys? To do, do, do thirty seconds left. Whew. That's so many four out of four, actually. So a GM is like pretty much guaranteed. I hope. <laughs> I thought I would get it this round, but I got a twenty-four seven this round. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, let's see who I will get this round. Oh, Terry, okay. It's not a GM, though. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No GMs for two rounds straight. That's not fair, Chesco. That's like pretty much one of the only three Ks who is a GM out of four, out of four, out of four. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, bishop of four, rookie eight, rookie one, bishop e five. If bishop d four, bishop f four. Uh, Losing upon either way. Maybe f4 is better so that I can attack d5 somewhat. Yeah, out of three k's, Terry is the only uh, non GM. And I got him. <laughs> okay. Okay, if I win this game, then the next game has to be a GM, no? <laughs> it just absolutely has to at this point. G5, I've missed that. <laughs> yes, Queen is Time. Hi, Mr. Saki san. Time against Terry and Joseph. Oof, if you're in time trouble, it's not good. <laughs> Yeah, bishop of three. Oh, you, 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 and then bishop e five, or oh, ninety five even. Oof. Ah, he didn't take. But he wants to take.
Yeah, but the clock <coughs> hasn't changed much. <laughs> Down a minute. Okay, it's fine. Everything is under control, chat. Do not worry at all. Ay, why did I go for this? Unfortunate. I think he was close, but he b4 was terrible. Or c4. I played c4. I should have just checked him and then played uh, rook d1 back. And then just see what he does. Hey, curse dummy. Uh, 89 accuracy, even though I lost. Yeah, not terrible. So, yeah, it was completely equal. Oh, it was even equal. It was up. Oh, it was pretty much an equal game until rookie six, which just landed me. I was just worried. I was just like not worried. I was like terrified of his pa of his past pawns here. I know this is ah king e four. Yeah, bishop d two, king e four. Ah, yeah, okay, king e two. Of course, loses, but king e four. Sneaky, I miss that. Yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. I believe two is the only move, but kini three, kini four is nasty. But okay, it happens. It's fine. Still played eighty nine accuracy. In the opening though, d five. Uh, hey. Uh, analysis. I want to analyze. Help. I play ninety five. Boop, boop. Uh, okay, there you can analyze. Tick, 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 take a four, a half, a four, a five, and I'm having something. Yeah, interesting line to say the least. Uh, 
But yeah, yeah, but Bishop D2, King E3, King E4 was such a nice, such a nice way to draw. But still, it was Bishop, uh, I, I, I would have a Rook versus Rook and Bishop, which is tricky to draw. So, ah, whatever. This 24.75 on four points and he's winning against the 3100 GM, huh? How about that shot? <laughs> I'm very fortunate that I didn't get this 2400 in round four. That would be terrifying. <laughs> that would be terrifying. He won two 27s. And two twenty eight hundreds, and now he's winning against. Uh, no, okay, he's better. Perhaps he was even winning at some point against the thirty one hundred. <laughs> Full chat, and there were like five points difference. So I'm very, very fortunate that I didn't get this guy. Draw! Yay! Was it the final game or no? I'm not sure actually. It was, I think. I know it's two games. Oh, this should be a draw. Why the bishop hung? Ah, the bishop hung. Only seven. Only have seven. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. A little blunder. Okay, that was the final game of the round. E not only. Wait, what do you mean announce? I meant I wrote E, not A. Okay, E not only. Let's go. Do 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 What is that? Saint Lucia? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, chat. I'm good at geography and flags, huh? And if it's themed like I said Saint Saint Lucia when I clicked on it, no, I didn't. I said it half a second before. You can rewind the stream. Do 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 yeah, maybe f6 was a bit stronger immediately, but I think this is fine as well. Bishop e6 is stronger so that he doesn't have knight c4, knight d6. A bit more precise than this. This e5, I think I may be losing a piece. And bishop b4, that's too many tempos wasted. Yeah, bishop b6 is more precise, so that after knight d4, we have bishop h2, queen d4, and winning a pawn. So bishop b6, b4 castling. Okay, whatever. Let's go here and then like d5. Or maybe I'll play like h3. Ah, h3 doesn't do much. Maybe I'll play a3 and then bam, bishop h2. No, he didn't. Okay. Wait, maybe bishop d5 is stronger. Mm. Honestly, I don't know. Bishop d5, e d c4, b of 3, rook d8, rook d8, gf looks completely equal. <laughs> he has a weakness on f3. I think taking with the knight is a bit more ambitious. I think ambitious is the right word because. Because I think it's the right word. <laughs> the best explanation, but I mean, I just think it's the right word, so it has to be the right word, right? Um, bishop d4, oh, whoa, okay, queen b4, queen b4, queen b4, queen b4, queen b4, uh, queen c7, bishop b6, maybe queen d7. Aha! No, yeah, 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 yeah. This, 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 no! Okay, I have rook e4. I thought queen g4, but then my rook is hanging. But then I have bishop f3 and g3, queen h3, I'm winning. Come on, bishop c5, bishop b7, c4, g3, that's all. Come on, thank you for the follow, and queen e7. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Bishop c5, bishop b7, ed, c4, queen e7. Bam! Perfection! Come on. I know, but here's rook d8. Rook d8, take, take, take. Okay. Uh, rook d8 is a must. <laughs> no! 
my perfectly calculated line calculated it so deeply <laughs> why are you gonna be so mean and not go for it okay bishop g4 bishop g4 bishop e7 wait can i draw arrows bam 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 rook e5 bam 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 rook g1 that doesn't look like it works bishop g4 bishop e7 bishop s3 g takes f rook e7 uh 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 Okay, yeah, let's go bishop before if I lose a pawn item here. Maybe I take rook e7 first. Doesn't matter, it's a question. To know if move or the match, honestly. Yeah, and he takes cd unfortunately rook e5 dc queen h3 queen b3 king h8 king h1 rook h5 he can resign so rook e5 oh dc queen h3 queen b3 king h8 there is f4 and a queen trade is forced that's unfortunate <coughs> So DC, I guess I have to take queen c6 and play that. That's a bit really unfortunate because it would have been very nice, but okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll go king c8. Okay, but still, rook, no, rook g5 isn't a threat, queen h3 isn't a threat as well, but then I can take e4, so maybe it is a threat, I don't know. Uh -huh, tricky guy. Queen b2, queen d8, so I have to go h6. Something like this. Rook c2. No queen trade, he takes this check. Fortunate. Gotta play f faster. Let's try to keep his pawns doubled. I'm doubling my own pawns, but I think I'm preventing his pawns from advancing, hopefully. Oh! This is not good. This is very not good. Yeah, but okay, still let's keep cool, keep calm. And move the king. Uh, here I think in h7. I'm really unsure about this.
his kin so close? No! Yeah, I think he was a draw to Ruby too. It just lets the kin too close. That's unfortunate. Uh, I completely blacked out. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, okay, first inaccuracy of the game was uh, Castling instead of Bishop e6. If Bishop e6, I think I would have been slightly better. Then it was equal just Rook b2 instead of uh, Rook c2. I oh, know I was lost all the game. Okay. Okay, Rook b2. How does he win? How does he win? Yeah, okay, whenever, okay, he gets this, yeah, okay, it wasn't drawn. It wasn't drawn, that's less, 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 uh, less pity, I don't know. Uh, th how he wins is, okay, let's go here, for example, boom, 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 I have to move my king, rook f8. And after takes, takes, this pawn is falling. But, uh, what did he get this general disadvantage in the middle game? Bishop d4 wood, bishop f3 inaccuracy. Should we go rook e7 or what? Ah, uh, yeah, rook e7. Okay, and then should have played this with a bishop pinning his knight all the time. And then something like this a bit more, a bit better than what happened in the game Stockfish says because I have a bishop. Okay, okay. Fair enough. <sighs> okay, that was round 6 already, wow. <laughs> I thought it was like, I don't know, round 5, not 6. Let's see how long this game will last for. Queen e1! Is white playing for a win or what? I thought white is trying to draw. But they could have played queen e1. They don't want to play. Okay. A repetition! Which happens 30 moves ago. Repeat it again. Okay, e one only. Let's go chat. A GM! Okay! That's interesting. Not not a GM I expected. I expected a GM when when I was on four out of four. But a GM is a GM, okay? At least I played a GM this tournament chat. Good news. I think he's a G6. I oh, know he's a C5 G6 player. Okay. I see some Tarash player. Nice ah, a G6 player. Yeah. D4, but I cannot get D4. So let's go with something like this. Is I guess. Ah, B5 is possible. Okay, this Queen C2, Knight E4, Bishop G7, Knight F6. Thank you for the fall. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Uh, 94. I was planning to try that anyways. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> the very worst thing can happen. I will return 93. I will retreat to C3 and continue playing. <laughs> uh, that's the, 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 the worst thing that can happen. Good things, maybe I'll blunder something on F6 and I'll win in like 10 moves. So. <laughs> And something to play for with not much risk, I think. Okay, e5. Mm, he wants to play f5, but then I want to go knight g5. Um, if I play a4, what does that do? I give him... What does that do? What does that do? Okay, let's go rook c1. f5 seems like knight g5, maybe a4 ideas. Or I can simply, once again, return to c3. Uh, knight c3, d5 can be a bit annoying. Okay, if I go knight g5, queen d7, queen d7, a4, with 80 of queen c4. He plays h6, I take a b. If he goes knight b4, I have something like, I don't know, queen d1, but then knight d3. If I go queen b1, I lose the pawn and get nothing. So that's not good. So maybe knight c3. d5 is unpleasant, but okay, I'll, I'll figure something out there. No worries. 
uh, quindi one visedio face three uh, ah he wants to get my d3 that's unpleasant f3 f3 maybe after d5 i'll just get a million weaknesses Okay, let's at least try to create a passer. Knight d3, I'll go queen a2, ruby 1 or something. b8. Because if I have no counterplay, I mean, this is not going to be good. And here I was thinking queen to a2 check and then ruby 2 b1. Yeah, let's go for it. Bishop A1 can be an interesting idea, actually. Bishop A1. Yeah, let's go for it. Just want to get rid of these rooks and get the control over the file. And the start is rook B8, 95 winning a point simply. This. Queen E3. Knight C2. Uh, knight C2, C5 hangs. D4, Knight B5 or something. Let's go for it. Knight b5. If he takes, I have bishop b7. Maybe rook c1 is an idea trying to attack the c5 pawn. The bishop on g2 isn't great. <laughs> isn't a great piece. But okay. It's fine. This knight d3. Hmm. D3. I'm not sure if sacking and exchange is great, but actually I'm getting d5, but the bishop is still gonna be dead. That's what I don't like. If I would like sack and exchange, get a pawn and an active bishop, I'd go for it without thinking. But having that passive bishop here, not sure I like that very much. And time, time isn't great either. Mm. Should I go for it? I don't know. I just don't see much else what I can do. Yeah, I think I will go for it. I don't know if this is good. Perhaps not, but... The knight is annoying. <laughs> and maybe somehow with d3 or f3 I can uh, free up my bishop. We'll see. I go c4. Okay. So knight c3, Heilbert. Time. Okay, queen g3, queen trade, sure. At least something. Rook g can be unpleasant. Ah, no queen trade. Boom. Boom. Ah, that loses, I miscalculated. Okay, h3. Yeah, knight of five wasn't good. Wasn't a good game. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I was too low on time to do anything at the end. I don't see any creative stalemates either, unfortunately. Rook a1, queen d1, maybe? No. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, let's try to pre-move. Maybe it'll be... Nah, okay. Yeah, that wasn't a good game. Knight f5, I just missed rook h3. It felt like I got chances there already, but I... I maybe not. Uh, 79 accuracy only for him. I thought it was like lost for a whole game. Okay. Yeah, it was worse for the whole game. I don't know why he got such a low accuracy. Okay, zero, zero, 006, but how do you find it? F3 or what? I'm not sure. Queen C3. And Queen G7, I'm fine with a trade and an F3. And King G8, I just repeat. Yeah, that's an interesting move. Yeah, 95 was just terrible. 94 was terrible. 95 was just a try. Yeah. But in the opening. It was fine. Okay, queen c2 had to be played. Cb wasn't good already. It's already slightly worse and we know to lose. Yeah. Okay, here it says it was more or less fine. Fook c1. Okay, so rook c1 was a better move. I thought, I, I thought why I played, I was planning to play that, but then I thought maybe this pin of my knight isn't great. Yeah, okay, it's zeros here. So I decided to play rook bc1 to trade this rook, so now my rook isn't under a pin. And that would be totally fine, but I miss c4. After a minute of thinking, yeah, I should have played rook c1. That was, that, that was the first move my intuition. Uh, I thought with intuition, but yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay, but still chat. If I win the next game, still pretty decent standings. This should be a draw. It's going to be difficult for black to lose the pawns, but it's possible to lose them. If he moves the knight already, you lose the game, not only the pawns. I can do it. All right, this should end soon. Ah, emote only, and let's go. And it ended right now. Let's go, chat! show up. Why am I spectating this 2400? I don't want to. I don't want to spectate him. You're no longer watching. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm the lowest four pointers, actually. Playing somebody who's four and a half points. Wee! Wee, you chat. <laughs> That's not great. Yeah, I didn't have the best three games of my life. With this position. It's boring, but it's eh, grindy. Yeah, why did he waste the tempo? I didn't need to play queen d2 and then queen e2. And queen c2. That's a lot of tempos. <laughs> yeah, I guess he wants to go like, eh, okay, he doesn't want to go e4. 
Okay, let's get my knight anyways to e6 or somewhere there. B5, this can be a weakness. But as of as he gets b5 himself, I get c5. Yeah. Screw rook c8 and c5, I suppose. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I think c5. I mean, cb is interesting, but bishop b5, rook a3, he has rook b3. Let's go c5. And now it's going to be a big question whether I take with a queen, with a rook, or with a knight. Or I ignore the capture and play like d4. Knight looks nice, queen is interesting, but I think queen may be in the way after like queen d2 and some knight jumps. Rook can be interesting, but I think knight is the best, honestly. There is no d4 anymore, but it's fine. Uh, rook c7 and b6, rook c6, I think. My idea is g6. Or rook a3, or knight d4, or knight a4, <clears throat> but something like that. Mm, queen d2, g6, he has to go bishop c2. Okay. Queen e5, bishop c2. <coughs> queen e5, bishop c2. It looks a bit interesting at least, but I'm not sure if I can use that interestingness of this position. I think I'll play queen e5 anyways now. Yeah, bishop c2, knight e6, attacking the knight. Ah, he goes bishop b3, okay, that's interesting. d4, first idea, but I don't know, I don't think it does much. Rook a3 doesn't do anything either. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, d4, bishop, e6, d6, that looks fine. d4, take, 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 the bishop may hang. I think I'll go d4. And bishop, e6, d c. Something like that. If knight e2, I don't know, I'll see. Maybe knight g4 and then d take c. Okay, take, take. Good. Rook c3 is a threat, actually, so you have to be careful. Uh, these... I don't have anything, really. Ah, ah that's unfortunate. Felt like I should have something here. Feels like, not even felt, because we are here still. Maybe queen d4 won the game, I'm not sure. Queen d4, queen d4, and like rook c3. Rook c8, perhaps, but okay, let's play the game as it is now. And I think of the past. If rook d1 sounds like rook d8, I think it's okay. But yeah, maybe queen d4 just won in this spot. He had queen b2, so I'm not sure. Uh, rook d8. I have knight f3 win and a pawn, but I'm not sure if I won that pawn. Thank you for the follow. Yes, that's what I was worried about. Let's play. 
play. <coughs> When I'm losing a pawn. Ship of seven. Oh my goodness. Not great, not great. It's just gonna spam draw for us now. <laughs> He's just spamming draw for us now, Chad. King's three, knight of four already. King of three, king c5 maybe. Okay, king d4, active king in the end game is good. King g4, knight e3. Does this hold somehow? Miraculously, it does. Whew. Yeah, I'm not sure about whether Queen D4 was good or not, but I think I was losing at one point. He had to play Bishop D3 simply. I think I over pushed. Yeah, I wasn't winning. I was plus 0 0.4. <clears throat> 94 was the best. Ooh. Okay, if queen d4 here, queen e1, he's fine. Yeah, knight f3 had to be played winning this pawn. Then I had to play queen b6, I landed my pawn. But then I still think I equalized. But then I get laundered. Yeah, I should play simply king f6, king g7. I mean, I don't want to draw, I wanted to play for a win plus some content. Because this guy is lower rated, you never know he may blunder, you know? Because it actually felt like I was fine. And they were pushed a bit. And I honestly don't like draw first. Usually when I draw the games it's either by perpetual or like I don't know, kin we kin or left on the board or something. Draw for simply it's not a big fan of them. Because anything can happen. You can blunder, but your opponent also can blunder, you know? I got many points because of my opponent's blunders in time trouble. Depends. Thank you, Nuskip, for giving to your ones up to just paper craft. I mean, it depends, but knight is a tricky piece in time trouble, so I don't know who sorts of blundering are higher. All right, Chad, Jospam should be able to win this. And uh, I'm out of water, so whenever this game ends, I'm gonna put the break time and go for hydration. Don't forget to stay hydrated as well, guys. Grab some drink or a snack or anything and see you in a few minutes. The break timer says six minutes, but I think I'll be back like one or maybe one minute early or something. Take care, everybody. Stay hydrated and see you soon.
everybody, I got the water. Let's go. Three final rounds. Last four weren't great, but the three final rounds. Let's go. It's like ten seconds. I'll turn emote only already. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's see. Alright, white pieces, let's go. But now I got a four and a half pointer, and I didn't get the lowest five pointer. That's good. Interesting. Is E5 ID or no? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> D4, E4. like I'm simply losing a pawn. Let's go D3. And now D4, E4. I'm not losing a pawn, but I'm losing a tempo. Uh, okay, let's go something like this. Eh, B4, I mean. Uh, bishop d2, maybe knight g5, knight d5 at some point. Um, so knight b5. I want to get b4. He wants to get g4 or f4, I guess. Uh huh. D4. I don't like E4. Again, I'm getting this dead bishop as in the game against GM, but I'm planning to go knight E1 and F3 or something like that there. And maybe I'm gonna uh, revive my bishop and maybe get some active play. Because B4 isn't getting anything. Probably the thing I'm getting after B4 is him playing C takes B A4 and just pushing the pawn. So, okay, it goes for F4, not E4. Uh-huh. D takes E, bishop c3, queen d6. Bishop c3 and then queen d6. The bishop is in great. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat it once again because he can play, he can take, play e4, f3. The bishop is like dead, but okay. And he goes for e4 immediately without even the queen trade. Okay, knight e5. Do not play f3, that's not good for you. <laughs> he did play f3. Okay, bishop h1. Maybe should have traded the queens. Because maybe he has something like queen e8, queen h5, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see, what do I have? I have knight d6, which can be interesting with the idea of knight c6, bishop f6, knight e4. But the bishop isn't great. But I think knight d6, the knight will be better on d6 than it is currently on b5. So let's just go knight d6. It's 
since when B5 from the knight isn't doing much at all. Pretty much, I don't think it's doing anything at all. <sighs> okay, the bishop isn't great, but at least I'm having some activity, which is good. Queen e7, knight g6, wait a second. Okay, an exchange is an exchange shot. Um, knight f6. Bishop of 694. I think I'm gonna take here. And then bishop f6 and then queen d5, queen d4. That looking that's looking very good, chat. Uh queen d7. Oh actually queen d7 looks perfect. He moves the rook, queen g4, and this. And if he goes 97, this is a queen trade and rookie one, rookie four. That looks great, honestly. Uh, and the good thing is that he doesn't have any queen g6, queen h5, uh, knight e5, knight g4 stuff because the pawn is here. Queen e5 was interesting, but then the g4 pawn would be there. But I think here, okay, um, rook e1. Missed that. <laughs> rook e1, rook d1, rook d1, rook c4, but then I have this. Think rook d1, knight e2, f king f1. This maybe was also good, I don't know. I missed knight e4, but it's fine, chat. Do not worry, everything's under control. Rook c4, queen d5. Queen f7, rook d4. The bishop is dead, but I'm an exchange up. Uh, rook d4. <clears throat> I mean, I have to take, what am I thinking? And I somehow have to get the bishop out, or sacrifice it. I don't know how I won that. I mean, what a bad game. I am a rook up, but I'm not winning. Wow. No, okay, I was winning, but then I messed it up. I had to play bishop g2. I had to sack it, and then rook e1, the only winning move. It's difficult to win. Crazy. Because, okay, this fe was a blunder. I should have sacked the bishop while well, I could. And then rook c5 or what? Ah, I take in h1. That's difficult. Fe, it was a draw. I thought, okay, I have to repeat now, unfortunately. But then I got lucky, I repeated. Bam, and then I have rook d3. And then I have rook e8. Crazy game. But okay, I was worse. Uh, it was fine. Okay, I had to play like knight e1, knight c2, b4. Yeah, makes sense. Knight here, knight there, b4, I'm fine. I didn't do that, I got a worse position. Uh, then I was completely winning, then I somehow managed to mess it up. Okay, yeah, rook f1 simply won on the spot. Rook f1, rook c4, queen g4, mm, I don't know, bishop g7 or something, king h8, queen e4. I go here, I take f3, I'm winning. Or perhaps I can go with this and then king f1, he has queen b2. Crazy game! But a win is a win! After four games, finally I got a win, so <laughs> I'm fine with that, even though it was a crazy game. I'm, I'm happy that I finally got a win. Whew. 
Ameru Kapen, I cannot do anything. The bishop is so dead, it's not even felt. And he has perpetual. I thought I'm winning with rook d3, bishop f3, but he has his perpetual. That was so crazy. Yeah, so I got lucky that he got his skin to e6 and not to like g6, because also the clock was very low. So maybe after king g6, I would have just repeated. <laughs> Crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, two rounds to go. Let's go, chat. Let us go. How is Terry doing? How many points is he? He's on seven. So at least some decent tiebreaker from Mr. Terry. Should be some decent tiebreaker from Mr. Terry. Do I have good tiebreaker? No, I don't, as it seems. As it seems I have like mid tiebreaker to the lower side. Wonderful, time is on five and a half. Wow, okay. Okay, let's go chat. Emote only. AGM again. Again, that's when I expected. <laughs> Expected GMs when I was in 4 out of 4, but okay, 2 GMs nonetheless. Okay, let's go like bishop e7, so d4 is templus, templus, <laughs> templus. Technically that sounds fine, but I think it's templus. I'm not sure, maybe templus is better. It's more correct, okay. Take, take knight a5, I have bishop f2, rook a5, I think. And now he plays, now he plays h3. Yeah, he knows that when he castled and I didn't castle, h3 is scary to play because I can get g5 stuff. So it's a bit unfortunate that he knows <laughs> he didn't forget that, but okay, it's fine. Boom, 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 knight e5. Okay. Then let's go rook e8. I thought I'm winning a pawn, but knight e5 is a very key move. e5. This. I guess bishop is 3 and then f takes is what he'll play. I'm not sure. Hi, John, how are you doing? Okay, he goes rook f1. Let's go rook d8 then. I'm gonna go knight f2, rook d1. Whoopsie, Daisy. Whoopsie. Look at knight f2, rook d1. I'm sacking this pawn, but e5 is gonna hang, f2 is gonna hang. I'm not sure if it's that scary to sacrifice this pawn. If bishop is 3, I'm gonna take, and if f takes e, seems like rook d5, I guess. Or Rook d3? Ah. Should 
just calculating that and I think I'm winning a point. If I should I take a rookie two? <laughs> and a rookie two, rookie two. Where do I like my rook better? And what's the difference? Is there if there is difference? Um, okay, I don't think there is any difference. Uh, I'm gonna start with this since my rook is already on the second rank. Uh, this ninety five rookie two. Yes. If this rookie two, knight b7, bishop f2, I move my bishop, take b2, it actually rhymes well. Okay, bishop f2. Yeah. Okay. Rookie two and rook b2. I don't know if I want to do. I can simply take and then play like, I don't know, bishop e1. Probably that's what I'm gonna do and probably I should play faster. Take bishop e1, like c6, bishop b4, two points is uh, two points, uh, bishop b4. He's getting an open file though. Okay, c6, b5 looks kinda nice. That's, do they? I think they do. Maybe I can play rook e7 and then b5. It looks better. Rook d7, rook e7, rook d8, b5. Again, h7, then b5. Rook e7, boom, boom. Rook e8. Ah, I'm losing a pawn. What am I thinking about? Oh my goodness. Let's go b5. Knight b6. This. If he takes, that's winning. He resigned. Let's go. That was a smooth game, finally. I'm happy with this game. Ninety-six. Finally, after five games, I finally play a ninety-plus game. Yes, that's what I was meaning, guys. 94. Thank you so much for the gift. Give it one sub to Angel. Angel, thank you. The thing is, 94 rookie for this. It looks like I'm forking two pieces and winning a pawn, but he has 95. And if I take, take, my queen hangs and then he moves the rook. It doesn't work. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you came early today, exactly. Yeah, okay, I had to play bishop to e3. Bishop to e3, bam bam, f takes e. That would be more comfortable for me because he has a lot of weaknesses, but it's more or less equal. Rook f1, oops, uh, rook f1, no. Oh my goodness, okay, rook f1. Best, 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 best. Excellent, rook e2 was good. Huh, rook e2. Yes, I was considering this. And here b6, so what? Ah, and this I'm winning the knight c4, yeah, that's nice. But it would be tricky. Here I just wanted to keep as many pieces as possible. Bishop before this, b5, boom, 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 he three resigns. Good! So, final round, guys. Let's go. It's still a lot of games, so this round left, but it's already morally prepared for the last round. Oh. I'm ready to emojis emojis I'm, I'm i'm checking the chat only when my opponent is thinking because then he's thinking for like 30 seconds my attention span is too terrible to continue thinking i think i have everything calculated i'm like okay i don't want to i don't want to think more let's check maybe you guys wrote something you know <laughs> no but actually my attention span is pretty good but i mean that um, in that sense that uh how, how do i phrase it correctly i mean that in the sense that uh, when when your opponent is thinking for 30 seconds it just gets boring mate hans was actually a long time 
think I really long time. Two seconds ago. <laughs> no, but that happens to me sometimes. I'm playing, blitzing out the moves and then, ah! And then I suddenly blunder something and I'm thinking for two, two minutes and I have like 30 seconds left uh, for the rest of the game, you know. <laughs> Uh, that's what happens somewhat, not not too often, but sometimes it happens, you know, which is annoying sometimes. <laughs> you're you're a minute up on the clock, then you blitz out a move, your opponent blitzes out the move, you blitz out another move, and then he makes a move, and then you have to think for two minutes, and then you see that, okay, you have to force a draw, and you force a draw, and that's all. And you time advantage. <gasps> I have two! Oh, my goodness, what a clutch! What a swindle from Black. Oh, what a swindle! No! H8! The queen isn't hanging! No! Oh my goodness. So many swindles, but Black is the one that swindled out more. <sighs> How many more games left? Not too much, I suppose. Okay, this one, three more. And this will draw already. And this one ends. So I think this is the most entertaining game. Nonetheless, anyways. Mating five. But yeah, it's GG's. Okay, chat! Final round! Let's go! Ah. Let's go! Let's go, chat final round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, okay. This thing was a bit late. Okay, let's stop singing and let's concentrate. C3. I want to try something like this. Some attacking chess. Uh, Bishop h7, knight f7 doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, I don't think it does. Does it? I doubt it. No, I don't think it does. And you can get two pieces for a rook, but that's not great. Okay, let's go bishop h7, nonetheless. Bishop g3. I'm not scared of g6, I'm gonna simply take. Take, take. If it gets scary, I'm simply gonna remove my bishop. Okay, this is actually great that he didn't play bishop f6. Okay, there I'd like bishop b8, but as always take, take, g6 is a threat and queen d4 is a threat. But I'm simply gonna take, and I think go maybe queen to f5 perhaps, uh, or maybe bishop d3. Since I'm a bit concerned, take, take, yes, queen b4. Uh, here I'm going to castle. Okay, no attack happened unfortunately, but okay, it's fine. h3, let's, let's just keep up the pace. Okay, like that, like that maneuver, not gonna lie. Maybe even if it does nothing, I think the knight on c5 is gonna be a place better than on c3. Uh, knight b6, knight c5, I think knight c5, honestly, since he cannot play like b6. Just like this is the idea. Okay. 
King G8. So you see, it was actually good that I made him play King F8 because now he had to waste a tempo to get King G8 back. <sighs> Speaking too much today. I'm tired of speaking. <laughs> the good thing is that he never has b6, at least at the moment, until he plays a5. Then he'll have b6. So probably b4 was a bit more smarter than a4. It's now b6. It's possible. A a5 is possible. But hopefully he won't play it. Okay, use g5. Okay. The la. b4, g4, knight g4, g3, knight e3, okay, knight e3 is not scary, I'm a piece up, I think. I've, mm, bishop f5 is somewhat tempting, but then, then he takes a5, it's not good. Okay, I'm a bit concerned in blitz. I don't want to give him chances with g4. Maybe it's not scary there, but I'm concerned. So let's play bishop f5. Maybe I should have played like b4. Okay, it goes knight e4. Um, I can play b4, I can play knight e7, knight e5. I think b4 is fine, unless I'm landing in a queen, which I hope I'm not. You cannot attack my queen. <sighs> takes, takes. Okay, I like that. I'll get the B file. Pretty nice. Yeah, sure. But I want to get the rook here. Another rook there. Maybe even a queen to help. Like that. Ah, and he wants to hold it like this, okay. <laughs> Do a breakthrough now, huh? I'm gonna keep my queen here. Advance my king actually. Maybe all the way there. King C3. Yes. Queen D1. Let's continue advancing my king. I think this is fine, I'm not sure, but let's go for it. Looks fun.
What a beauty to finish the tournament off with. Oh, what a beauty chat. That's a gem of the tournament. Oh, that was so nice, wasn't it? Oh, I'm happy with this game. Ah, I'm happy. Oh, that was nice. I didn't want to take it. I was scared of some queen of two. It was probably ghost, but the position was always good. Yes, okay, I couldn't win anywhere here. G5, what should I have played? Should have played, okay, I should have played A5. Yeah, yeah, as I said, probably A5 is strong since 97 this I'm winning a pawn after AG. 97 I'm also winning a pawn. So yeah, A5 fixing his pawns. Thank you so much, Mr. Gifter, for giving it to you. What's up, Jokes John? Thank you. Um, so this, 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 blocked the position completely, started the king walk. Uh, queen d1, king b4. It is still holdable. Yeah, he didn't really hang. He hung it here. But here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, my... Is it, I may be even worse. I know I'm not worse, but at, he will at least have perpetual. I know it's zero one, so I am worse, you know. Um, okay, it's perpetual. Yeah, my king is too naked, let's say like that. Um, but here he gave it away, I took. The idea was, okay, he didn't take and then queen of two. The idea was if he would go queen of two, I would take, and after take, I would go queen d5. <coughs> and then this I can either play king b6 and I try to promote rook in a6 and I have three extra pawns so that he's winning. He played rook e6, queen b2, queen d8, rook b6. I, I didn't want to risk it, hey John D. I didn't really want to risk it, king e6 was better. I just wanted to put like a giant wall and that he wouldn't, couldn't do anything. a6, king a5. My kid is just sheltering behind the rook and the pawn. And then my queen could do the nasty stuff. And queen d1, queen h5, queen g6, and the game ended. That was a nice game. I'm happy with it. The, uh, so, so how can I summarize the tournament? <laughs> Very well. Okay, 59. It's not too bad. I thought I could be worse, but maybe I am lower. Let's see. 50 second, it says. Whew, 50 second. I'm happy. 50 second. Yeah, it's good. We have decent-ish tiebreakers. Decent ish. I'm around mid, so it starts from 65th, ends on 37th. I'm 52nd. Yeah, I'm more on the lower side, but still not the lowest tiebreakers, fortunately. Thank you, Elias. Mm. So, how can summarize that tournament? <laughs> uh, first four rounds were perfect. Since, wait, let me open my profile. First four rounds were perfect since I won all of them. Middle of the tournament was terrible since I got three losses and a draw. And the, the end of the tournament was perfect as well since I got three out of three. <laughs> so like, perfect and perfect and then terrible where I barely got a draw. <laughs> That's funny. We are in Amman, yeah by a tiebreaker point. Yeah. The 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 the, the laptop the laptop. Oh Terry got force he gave me good tiebreaker. The laptop mic is iconic. Mm. Yeah. I wanted to check this guy He's like one of the highest seven and a half pointers. He was 2400 when the tournament started. And he was beating everyone left and right. He beat 28, 27, lost to 29, beat 28, drew 3100, beat 28, 28, 27, 27. Crazy. Well done from him. But yeah, I'm more or less happy with the tournament, except this middle. I'm extremely happy with the beginning where I got four wins. I'm extremely happy the end where I got three wins. Uh, I'm not so happy with the mid where I got half a point out of four. But a good stream nonetheless and a good tournament more or less. 50 second. So that's fine I guess. 
And if I would be 8, I would be like 30, 30, 30 is actually. Uh, yeah, but it was hard to get in the middle of the game with the tournament, I struggled. But yeah, the last game was like one of the best games I played in far. Press the bonus button. Well done, Karma. Well done. Is it the first bonus button you pressed today? <laughs> oh, but I'm happy with stream chat. I'm not gonna lie, every game. Great content, exactly. Especially the beginning and the end. I wouldn't say so about the middle of the tournament. But the beginning and the end were great content. <laughs> um, third, I guess. <laughs> third out of two and a half almost hour stream. Okay. Alright, chat. So we're gonna wrap things up. I'm not gonna lie, every single game because. First few games were pretty much flawless. This was great, this was great, this was goodish. I made blunder, but it's fine. This was great. This was terrible, this was terrible, this was terrible, this was terrible, this was eh, mid, this was good, great, and this was great. So that's the summary of the tournament. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching and for the support. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for gifting tier one sub to Xjan, Oxjan, Oxjan, to Angel and Chess Papercraft. Give me a sorty uh, for giving a one community. Uh, let's cut. Yes, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. That would be one of probably the first places in the tournament. Also, give me a sorty gift and tier one sub to the community. Then Karmar resubbing for 73 months at tier three. And Panda 50 and Lorgan a thousand bits. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate it. So, to that, Ed Lorgan, thank you so, so much, Lorgan. Then Panda 55 months in tier 3 and Karma 1656 bits. And with that, he gave away 100 bits total. So, with that, he is the first ever owner in the world of the pineapple emote. Karma flex, you gotta flex with it. I don't know how it's called. Peska bits. He has a dancing pineapple. Let's go. So that was fun. Once again, thank you, Karmar Panda, Bimi Absnow Team, Lorgan, Anims Gifter, and everybody for the support. Oh my goodness, I'm tired of talking after today's stream. I appreciate the support, everybody, very, very much. Take care, everybody. Bye, Karmar. Bye, Johnny D. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Bimi Absnow Team. Bye, Crash Dummy. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Ilias. Bye, Xijan. Bye, uh, Chess Papercraft. Bye, Angel. Bye, 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 Johnny D. Bye bye, B for Queen. Bye bye. I'm tired of talking, chat. <laughs> Help. By PFF, by Mr. Saki-san, by uh, Vicious, by Frogger, by the uh, the Champ, uh, by Bexby, by Salmai. Here's everybody who was here. I hope you had fun. Thank you everybody for the support and for watching. And I hope I'm hoping to catch you all next Title Tuesday. And hopefully the middle part of the next title Tuesday will be better than today. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody. And bye-bye.